Thank you for tuning in to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. So a woman th- plans to sue United Airlines for kicking her autistic daughter off of the plane. Now, I'm going to read you her statement, and I want to I want to know, do you think she's right or do you think this was all her fault and the airline was completely justified? Now, I'm going to read you her statement and her English is not that great. I'm just going to say it. I wasn't an English major, but I speak perfect English. I could be more upset with United Airlines, but I can't imagine it. My family were on our way home from Disney World. I asked the flight attendant if she had any hot food. Juliet will not eat cold food and had refused her dinner prior to the flight. We had a backpack of snacks, but she did not want what we had. The attendant sold me chicken sandwich, but it was not hot and Juliet would not eat. The flight attendant said, that is all we have. I asked if there was some hot food in first class. It was a very long flight, and I wanted her to get something in her system. The flight attendant went to ask a male flight attendant in first class. He came back to tell me that they could not serve the hot food from first class because we were in economy. I offered to buy the rice they had. He said no. For 40 minutes, I kept trying to think of something that they had that she would eat. He told me no every time. I finally told him that I am a platinum on United, thinking he might help. He said no. I asked again if he could make an exception for our daughter who faces autism. He said no, he could not give her the rice from first class. I asked if I could get some chips or something salty for her. He said they had no chips. Juliet was beginning to cry. Frustrated, I said, after she has a meltdown and tries to scratch in frustration, will you help her then? He said he would see what he could do. He came back, scowled at me, and gave her a hot meal. I thanked him and offered to pay for it. He did not answer and went back to first class. Juliet ate and was watching Pocahontas. When we heard the flight attendant say, We will be making an unexpected landing in Salt Lake due to a passenger in the back having issues. We were in the front of the plane and wondering what was going on. The plane landed and the flight attendant asked if there was a medical doctor on board. A man came forward two rows in front of us. The man there said, I am fine. I do not need a doctor. The door opened and two paramedics came to the man two rows ahead of us. He said again he was fine. The paramedics left him and came to my row and said, Everything okay here? Confused, I said, Yes. The paramedic asked if Juliet was okay. I said, She's fine. Did she scratch someone? Puzzled, I said no. The paramedic rolled his eyes, said they had real work they should be doing and they were going to leave. He warned me that we may be asked to leave the plane. I was completely baffled why. He said this happens more often than you might imagine. He told me if they asked us to get off the plane, we should just quietly get off. The paramedics left the plane. The two police officers approached our row. I'm sorry, then two police officers approached our rows. They said they needed us to exit the plane. I said, why? The officer asked if Juliet was scratching someone. I again said no. I told them, asked, for hot shoe food to prevent a meltdown and said we wanted to prevent her getting to the point of being upset or scratching which she sometimes does in frustration i told the officer the flight attendant gave her hot food and she has been fine the whole trip the officer said they were going to still have us exit the plane i told him this makes no sense nothing had happened passengers around us were willing were telling the officers that julia was fine and there was no problem The officer told us, the captain is not comfortable flying to Portland with your daughter on the plane. You have to leave the plane. The captain had never seen Juliet, nor had he come out of the front cabin. All the time they were talking to me, Juliet was happily watching her video. The officer asked us again to quietly exit the plane. I was furious. I stood and shouted so the passengers could hear. Is there anyone on this plane who feels threatened by our Juliet who faces autism? 
Has Juliet alarmed or harmed anyone on this plane? Passenger stood, yet, stood up for Juliet and shouted, She is fine. Leave her alone. She is not calling, causing a problem, so let's go to board. This is ridiculous. And mouthed to me, I am sorry. The police repeated, I, I just wonder if this was a black woman, how this situation would be handled. And, and people are going to say, you don't know what you're talking about. It would be handled the same way. <laughs> uh, trust me, no, it wouldn't. The police repeated that we needed to leave the plane. The captain came out and we saw him. And, and that's how black people see things. They say, if I were in that position, would these people be so patient? And that is a reality. That's not conjecture. That's not inserting race into it. I'm trying to tell show you the mind of a black person and i'm a rich black person i'm not a poor black person i'm not a degenerate i'm not a thug black people always when we see stuff read stuff like this we said now would would these people be this patient with us these policemen would beat a black woman over the head beat the child probably pull out their gun you you don't think so i dare you to go look up any situation black wo black woman on plane just google that the police repeated that we needed to leave the plane the captain came out and we saw him for the first time he said let's not make this a situation worse i said you made it worse you never even saw juliet and i have no idea what your flight attendant told you but nothing happened i was so shaken and tears began to fall as mom, I could not stand the way Juliet was being treated. I said, I am not leaving the plane until I have statements and names showing there was no issue. The officer said he would take statements. He came off the plane with 10 pages of passenger statements, 10 pages of passenger statements and showed them to me. He said, you know, we have some really violent cases where the plane should land. This is not one of those. You have a lot of people supporting your claim that nothing happened. And I wonder, huh? I wonder what those pages of statements would look like had this been a black woman, a black child. Would they be supportive? Why? Because I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've had it happen to me. I am not poor. Everybody says, oh, that just happens to poor black. But I'm not poor. I've never been poor in my life. The cheapest house I've been in was a three bedroom. Never been poor in my life. I've had this happen to me. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, he was he was threatening every. Oh, my God. I was, I was in fear of my life. What are you talking about? I'm sitting in the seat. There is a huge divide in the United States. But I'm going to continue with this. You have a lot of people supporting your claim that nothing happened and your daughter should stay on the plane. He gave me the police report number and told me I can get copies of the report and the statements. It took some time for the crew to find our luggage. They rebooked us for a Delta flight, <laughs> leaving at the time when my kids should have been home in bed and getting ready for school the next day. We flew the rest of the way home as we have flown around the country with no problem. Juliet has flown since she was six months. She has been to five countries, 24 states, and we have never experienced anything like this. Most often, the flight attendant got our, out of our their way to make Juliet comfortable and happy. This was a sheer case of ignorance, prejudice, ignorance, <laughs> and mistreatment are all too common towards people facing poverty. Po poverty? Wait a minute. Let me, let me back up. She has been to five countries, 24 states, and we've never experienced anything like this. This was a sheer case of ignorance, prejudice, ignorance, and mistreatment are all too common towards people facing poverty. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I don't know where this is going. I, I don't understand it. She faces poverty? I, I would never say something so utterly insulting in my life. I'm well aware of my, my socioeconomic status. I've never been poor. And I wouldn't deem to say that I was poor. I went to, at one point, I told my roommate, we're poor. And he said, we're not, we're not poor. We may not have money at this time and point but we're not poor. <laughs> and I just laughed. The parallels between special needs and poverty are striking. The parallels between special needs and poverty in that both are caused causes for judgment, misunderstanding, mistreatment. Okay. I'm stunned they landed a plane and held everyone up. Juliet was in, in a window seat and her dad was next to her and I was next to him. 
She was not a threat. I have contact contacted an attorney and will be filing a discrimination lawsuit to ensure the captain and flight attendants get training. This is not about money. If there were money, I would give it to the flight crew to use for training. Now, what's really striking is this is on Facebook and there are thousands of comments. There is absolutely not a single person supporting her. None. And a lot of the women on here have special needs kids. Now, before I prejudice you, I want you right now, not that I haven't prejudiced you already, right? I want you to right now tell me, do you think the United crew was at fault? Or do you think she was at fault and she should not go through with the lawsuit? Now, let me talk about the comments. A lot of the comments say she was at fault. That if you have a baby, if you have special needs, if you have a dog, if you have a parakeet, if you have an issue, if you have something that is out of the norm, and the norm is a man with a carry-on. If there's anything outside of that, and yes, more men travel on planes, on, on roads, more men travel, period, everywhere, everywhere, even, even, I'm talking even in your car, anything outside of the norm, who should prepare for that? You should. If you have a baby, if you have somebody in a wheelchair, if you have an autistic child, who should prepare for that? You, in her story, the very first statement I read you, she said, the girl refused to eat what they had. Then she should have gone and found, I mean, this didn't just happen. Humans didn't just start eating when this autistic child came up, <laughs> right? At 3 p.m., humans didn't just start eating. She knew her daughter was going to get hungry at 3 p.m. I'm making 3 p.m. up. And if she said, my daughter doesn't eat cold food, what should she have done? She should have packed hot food. She should have had a thermos. She, I mean, right? You don't go on a camping trip, get out the car, get a mile down the road and go, you know what? I didn't pack a tent, <laughs> right? I didn't pack a sleeping bag. I didn't bring any food or water, nor did I bring any filtration system to filter some water out of a river. It's called preparation. Anything outside of the norm you need to prepare for. These women are not having it in the comments. They said you should have called ahead, you should have done this, you should have done, you should have been prepared, you should have had hot food. This has nothing to do with the airline. Let me read you a couple of statements. I would argue that this whole situation could have been avoided if the parent had planned ahead and found her daughter something hot to eat or if the flight attendant had just brought the young lady something hot. However, making comments such as when my daughter starts to scratch and scream are a red flag to anyone in the airline industry. Everyone knows you cannot make these sort of offhand comments and not expect a consequence. It's the zero tolerance of today's world. Perhaps mom should rethink the plan when traveling and United can save itself some trouble by being more accommodating. However, I don't see the grounds for a lawsuit here. Another comment. Let me get this straight. I'm flying home from Disney World I threaten my child will start scratching if you don't acquiesce to our demands because I didn't have the forethought to take care of my own child's needs and assume someone else would cater to us versus poverty. Wow. Just wow. A discrimination lawsuit because you didn't plan ahead? Why not get an insulated hot bag, call ahead on the airline to ensure you can have get hot food, buy a first class ticket? Now I've been accused of being an elitist entitled and having too, too many first world problems, but this just blows me away. Another comment. This sounds as if it was avoidable if you had brought hot food on board, if you knew this could happen. Another comment. As the mom of an autistic child, I would say this mom is wrong. It is our knowledge that should have us prepare for what our kids need. Don't expect an airline to cater to your every whim. Here's another comment. My daughter, who was a flight attendant, stated to me that the autistic girl did not get removed. The mother did. Feed my daughter or she will get violent. Sounds like a threat to me. Buy a first class seat next time. Here's another comment. I hope you learned something from this instead of blaming everyone else around you. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail, which is, of, of course, a, a known 
uh, quote, excuses are void in the new world. Oh, you like excuses? That's why you're still living in the old world. Here's another comment. One thing's for sure. This can't be a serious lawsuit with serious representations when the so-called plaintiff is busy getting it tried on Facebook. Better get yourself a lawyer who explains why you need to keep your business off social media, lady. And I'm pretty sure you brought up the scratching thing in the context of the threat of what might happen if you didn't get what you wanted. You are the one who got your daughter thrown off the plane. Grow up. And that is from a woman. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. Tell me what you think below.